Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for April 2021. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. April 2021. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. One more shuffle. Okay, what do we have? Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> the magician. Overarching energy, always beautiful. Okay. Message for Aquarius, please. Okay, that flew out. Yeah, oh my goodness, Aquarius. The answer is yes. What you've been asking the universe for, the answer is yes. Also, if there is some communication, you might be saying yes to somebody. Interesting. Let's pull some cards. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is first week, second card, second week, third card, third week, fourth card, fourth week. Though divine timing and all that, the messages may well overlap. People are at different life stages. We'll clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Aquarius. Okay, there you are. You are the star. That is your card, card of the star, the Aquarian energy. Okay, we have the five of swords, also Aquarius. Four of pentacles. And the Three of Wands. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Aquarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Aquarius. Thank you. April 2021. We have the nine of wands with the star. Okay, we have the five of swords clarified with the ace of wands. Six of pentacles clarifies the four of pentacles here and the ten of cups with the three of wands. Bottom of the deck is the eight of swords. Okay, Aquarius, let's clarify this magician. Let's clarify this magician, please. Let's clarify this magician, thank you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you are the magician, apparently. The King of Swords is Aquarius. You are front and center in this reading Aquarius this month, it definitely feels that you have this magic, this ability to manifest this month. Okay, so we have the lovers. Card of Gemini. There's powerful communication energy here, I will say this Aquarius. So it feels in this situation What I'm getting is there is definitely an energy here of you being back in your element. The lovers is, like I said, communication energy as well. Um, similar with the magician, there could be some powerful communication going on here. But the lovers is also about a harmonious relationship. It's a blissful relationship. It's where two people complement each other. 
can be choices, decisions, either within a relationship or something that affects your relationship. But it's such an empowering energy. There's definitely an energy of almost kind of like make the harmony happen, make the bliss happen, you know, something that is there's definitely an energy that I'm feeling here. There's no obstacle that the two of you can't overcome. And it feels for some of you, some of you have been facing some kind of obstacle. It feels, what I'm getting more Aquarius, it's something that's affected your relationship. Something that you've both been enduring. And the magician is the ability. We know your resourcefulness, your talent, your ability with blessings from the universe to manifest your heart's desire. You, this is somebody who is fully aware of their own power, their skills, their experience, their mental acuity, uh, their intuition, their knowledge, their pra you know practical efforts to actually bring about change, positive change to manifest what they want now. So there's definitely this energy of focusing upon that which you want to change from negative to positive, because now is the time for you to be back in your element or to be restored in your element, your light. And a definite energy of you have the mental acuity, the knowledge, the wisdom, the strategy, the capability, the mental strategy, the vision in order to make it happen. There's a new level of clarity coming your way in how to bring positive change. And it feels it's something that, that not, doesn't just affect you, but your relationship. The message is yes. The message is yes. Yeah. But my goodness, it has been a hard journey. Nine of Wands is a tough journey, but it's nearly over. And I definitely feel for some of you I definitely get in this energy that this is absolutely a month to let that magic happen and don't give up. You know, the nine of wands is your one wand away. And I see the 10th wand here very clearly. It's almost like you're one step away. There could be one obstacle to go in order to get your dream, in order for you to be back in your element. The star is a card of hope, have faith, uh, definitely an energy of keep going. You are absolutely on the right path towards getting to where you want to be. So if it's to do with, I mean, the, the one's energy is very much our heart and soul energy. It can be to do with um, our power, our passion, our desire. Um, but it feels like you're so close. There's a message, you're so close, keep on going. You are absolutely on the right path. You are going in the right direction. If you keep on going this way, you will get your divine wish fulfillment, your divine blessings. So there's definite optimism around you, reasons to be optimistic. Um, it feels like there may be one thing to go, one obstacle, until you just get to where you want to be. And the very next section, we have the final wand. Now, I, I see this. I mean, yes, the Five of Swords can be about external conflict. It can also be about the need to win at any cost, which, you know, sometimes we need to adopt that philosophy in order to get the opportunity that's right for us, our family, that protects our home that, you know, self-preservation and all that, it might well be for some of you, you might be experiencing that too. And this might be that one thing that you need to go for in order to be the victor here. And there sometimes is the bad feeling as a result of resentments, bad feeling, jealousy. Um, with the Five of Swords, somebody claims a victory, but it comes at a cost. But it's this is the Ace of Wands. So it feels it's associated with this Ace of Wands. I also see this can be negative energy as well, negative thinking. Um, so it could be your energy, Aquarius, losing hope of the promise that this is going to happen for you. And yet this Ace of Wands is saying the opportunity is coming your way. Now, the Ace of Wands is something absolutely connected to our heart and soul, our passions, desires, that if you take action, it promises great success. This wand can sprout into 
the castle. You know, it's that kind of energy, the sign of success, stability, security. If you take action to it, there is real long term success associated with this. It can be linked to something that we're passionate about. Um, for example, and I always give the illustration, yes, it can be in terms of a business opportunity or career opportunity here, uh, something that is very exciting, something that you really want, something that you are absolutely uh, wanting to take action towards. It can also be, you know, if you visited somewhere and, you know, another state or county and you just felt a, a pull to live there. It can be that kind of energy, you know, the Ace of Wands. It's something that is very much connected to our whole heart and soul that prompts us to take action, to open that new door. It feels more money and career here with the cards on the table. It feels that there has been some struggle in terms of money and career. And this definite energy of negative thinking that you're going to get the opportunity, you know? Um, but there is an energy of, there is victory here, Aquarius, and it's Aquarian victory, uh, Venus in Aquarius. So there's definitely an energy of you fulfilling the promise of you here, focusing on what you need to do to actually achieve this opportunity. And it feels for some of you around second week, that's going to happen. There is some kind of opportunity that you're going for. And again, there may well be victory here. It feels like there is some positive victory, but it might come at a cost of bad feeling, resentment, you know, that kind of energy too. But again, this can be you in your own head too. Oh, can I just get this? And the message is yes, the opportunity is there, it's coming. Because there's definitely a feeling here and it feels you as a relationship, there has been a need to be careful with money because you haven't had enough. You may have also had to ask for help in terms of money finances from other people, maybe family, um, loved ones, that kind of energy, you know. But this is an energy of you're going to get what you need. Have faith. Keep on putting your energy in the right direction. Don't stop. You're so close. And again, there's definitely this feeling of some kind of opportunity, progress in a situation here towards some kind of opportunity being offered to you. And it feels like it's going to bring change in terms of money, career, finances. There's definitely an energy of you will get what you need. It feels like there's been some struggle here in terms of money, career, finances, Aquarius. But the message is don't let the negative thinking own you. Again, this feeling of negative thoughts, negative feelings between these two cards. You know, because the... The sword's energy is to do with our mind, our perspective, and you're told very clearly that you need to be in your element. You need to do what you do best. Open your mind, see the big picture, get the big perspective, put a big game plan into action. You have the strategy, the know-how to, to get to, to achieve the vision by putting some kind of plan into action here and manifest it. Not just for you, but it feels for your loved ones. So don't get too much in your own head. And that's what that card is really telling you here. Because for some of you, your ships are coming in. That is restoring the happy equilibrium, the blissful relationship, the rainbow of blessings is coming your way. And I feel for some of you it's linked with this, the Ace of Wands, the exciting... Um, uh, opportunity that you're absolutely waiting for. It feels for some of you that there is some progress here and then there is some sign of it coming. And again, the message of yes. I feel you'll be saying yes to somebody. You'll be saying yes. Um, or someone's saying yes to you. But either way, it's restoring the happy equilibrium in a relationship. The ten of Ten of Cups is the blissful relationships, but it's also a card, Aquarius, of productivity. Uh, Mars in Pisces. So this is you creating that rainbow. You have the mental acuity, the strategy, the vision, but there is a need to get perspective here. See the bigger picture. Get that power of the mind back take that power of the mind back because it changes everything and again this is this three of wands 
is the beginnings of success coming your way. Uh, the beginnings of those ones sprouting, um, your ships are coming in. Seeing the return of your effort, of your productivity, not just for you, but for your relationship. So don't let that negative thought, negative feelings just get in the way here because it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. Yeah. You see? Success. Victory. The world card. Achievement. Goal achievement. Stepping through to a new phase of your life, the new beginning. Um, this is a card of victory, celebration, achievement through accomplishment, hard work, overcoming challenge. Um, yeah, for some of you, there could be travel involved. Um, but there's definitely an energy of focus on the big picture. Keep your head and everything else will fall into place. But I love this yes card because I definitely feel for some of you, there's powerful communication energies here of yes. It might well be between you, you might be just saying yes, it's happening, you know. This kind of achievement coming your way it feels very beautiful. This is worldly success. The world card is worldly success. It's very good in terms of money career. What you've been working towards. And again, some kind of obstacle, second, third week. But there's definitely an energy. If you put your energy in the right direction, you are going to reap the reward. This is law of attraction energy. What you put into something is what you get back. So I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah, oh my goodness. Hedgehog, we have acceptance. Embrace who you are. This is about playing to your strengths this month uh, because when you play to your strengths, it feels the game is on, you know, it's game on. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.